something because if a nuclear war starts, nobody is close and nobody is further. Do you think that it will be a third world war? I don't, I don't, I don't want to think about that. Mm -hmm. And you never start a, a war without being able to do it yourself. There is way. Uh, it, but uh, all the international community has to push in this direction. There are some similarities in their character. And probably they think the same. First of all, I'd like to ask you if you have seen this war coming. In spite of all the evidence, in spite of the fact that Russian troops prepared and we all could see this, for many of us it was a shock, the day when the war, the invasion actually started. Did you see this coming? Yeah, I believe that uh, for all of us it was a shock. Because uh, we, we count the, the actions of the, of the, of the Russia uh, through the logic the normal logic. So we, we didn't believe that uh, he was uh, 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 ready to do this uh, invasion and this war. Because logically it is not good uh, for nobody. And especially uh, we understand that uh, uh, from the day, from this day and after, nobody feels safe. Because the, the, the the ones who are violating the international law and the conventions, uh, who are the, the, the stability and the, the tools that makes the countries feel safe, immediately has changed. So everyone who believes that he's more powerful than someone else, then he using his power to change the world and the ones who, the ones that he don't like to be like they are. So, yes, uh, all of us were surprised. Uh, we didn't believe it, that he's going to, to do that. So, myself, I was... Uh, I had received a lot of questions before the war, and they asked me, what do you think? I said, no, I don't believe he's going to do it. He's just pushing, he's pressing to change some things by the press, but unfortunately, he did it. We saw that the United States decided to ban the import of Russian oil, uh, natural gas, coal, but we saw, on the other hand, that European countries cannot do this. They said they will try, but not on the spot. They need to think of some measures because European countries obviously are dependent of those from Russia. How important do you think this issue is? This is very, 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 very important because this one, um, this is one, uh, almost and probably the most uh, important uh, effect uh, economically uh, around this world because the energy is getting more expensive. Uh, even if uh, the, the if the Europe will find solutions, uh, alternative solutions, then the, the energy will remain more expensive than it is so far. The United States has the, the capability and has the, the infrastructure and the, and, the, and, the, and the power to stop the imports from the Russia uh, because they have a lot of uh, plans B for that. Uh, Europe, as you said, is, uh, is uh, dependent from the energy from Russia. So at the moment, until they will find another solution, they cannot uh, cut the imports from uh, from there. Uh, probably this is something that uh, Mr. Putin knew that uh, after this invasion around uh, all, all the Europe, uh, because it's related with the, with, the, with the energy from Russia, has to think uh, one more time about uh, his decision. We are surprised from uh, from the from the Europe reaction because they 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 reflect 
on a very, very positive way, uh, taking all these measures that they were and uh, showing uh, to, to, to everybody that uh, if somebody is doing this kind of actions uh, as this invasion, has to be uh, accepting the, 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 all the responsibility and uh, all, all the civilian war has to be against him until realized that he cannot do things like this or uh, for other ones who have the same view and the same opinions to be, um, let's say, discouraged mm -hmm. to, to, to don't do. So what do you think about all the other sanctions? Do you think they will show us some results? Or on the other hand, I have read some analyses that, that were saying that maybe Putin will think, okay, now I lost so many things, the economy of my country is down, it's all or nothing. So I will be, Putin, thinking bad, as bad as possible because I have nothing more to lose. We have to know and we understand that he has been prepared and he was probably his count about these measures that the Europe and the United States assume. He is going to, 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 to receive and to, to have a lot of damage in his economical situation. But probably he decides to, 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 to do it, even if he, if, if he has a, a lot of problems, because we have uh, the, the rule who says that the risk is versus game. So the game for him probably is, is, is positive, uh, comparing uh, the situation if he's not doing something or remaining in the way he was. But this is also something that uh, we, we can count and we can uh, find out by, by calculations. We have to see the future in, in the reality, what is going to be happen, how he will uh, survive, what is going to be the Russia uh, um, after, after a while. Because even, uh, even now we have not seen <coughs> the effects of the sections. But we will see in the future how effective they are. Uh, so p p probably the, the, the Putin believes that uh, he was able to do this uh, this war uh, very very fast and uh, very very effective. Uh, I don't know if he has count all this uh, all these delays and uh, if this time. Is okay for him? Is in his plan or is out of his plan? This is something related with his uh, his purpose, his his missions. We have to see what he wants to do exactly. Do you think that he made some mistakes o on the field? Meaning, <clears throat> look, we don't have many informations to 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 make this kind of an uh, analysis. Uh, because they are lit in, in the war, there are, there are a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, fake news. There are a lot of propaganda. So from both sides, they say a lot of uh, mistakes, a lot of uh, fakes. Uh, and uh, this is something that uh, is bothering you to have a clear view. Well, what is he, is he doing? Uh, we, we cannot sum things. First of all, it seems that she don't. Uh, she, she tries to avoid having a lot of uh, uh, civilians uh, casualties. He's, that's why he's uh, he's staying out of the cities, and he's trying to keep the the, the ways open for living with the people who who, who are living in the in the cities in case of uh, have. Uh, less casualties. I, I don't believe that he wants to, to, to bomb the, the big cities. Every Yesterday, he attacked the humanitarian, humanitarian corridors. I'm, I'm a little bit confusing. Who is attacked today and who is trying to close them? Because, look, there is a, there is a difficulty here. The, the, the Ukrainian army and the, the 
the people who are fighting against uh, the Russian army are uh, in the cities at the, at the moment. So the, the protection of them is are the, the civilians. So if they leave, then the, the, the way is open. So they try to hold them. So they are not so positive on leaving the people uh, empty the, the, the cities. So probably they bother them a little bit. The others, uh, so there are a lot of misunderstandings uh, in, 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 in these uh, actions. I have not clear view. I, I don't know if they attack them. I don't know if the other bothers them. So the good is that they try to hold these ways open and leave and give the, the, to, 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 to the civilians the, the possibility and the way to, to leave the, the, the cities. I also believe that he has to think one more time about attacking the cities or not. Probably he's trying to, to, to hold all the country, struggling the country and push hardly in case of uh, gaining what he wants to do uh, without bombing and destroy the cities. But he already did. We have he, images. He has started. He, he has started. I, 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 I cannot make an estimation of that. I, I, I don't believe that he's so... Going back to the sanctions, do you think that there is something more that can be done by the international community, by European community, U.S.? I believe, I believe in, in this direction. I believe that the international community has to, 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 to focus on, uh, on um, stopping the escalation. Stop the wall and find a way to, 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 to be in a, a, a cooperation between the two, the two governments. The, Putin and the government of uh, Zelensky uh, to, to, to find a solution uh, because there is something they can, they can agree. But I, I, I see good movies and uh, I, I believe uh, on, uh, on some of the persons who have been involved. I believe to the, to the president of Israel. I believe to the, to the president of uh, French. Uh, I believe also if uh, the United States wants to support uh, and, uh, and, uh, and find a solution also they can do. Uh, okay, Erdogan is trying to be in the middle. I don't know how, how effective he's going to be. China, China yes. All the, I believe that all the international community community has to be uh, involved and uh, focus on on, uh, on the de-escalation, on stopping the war. There, there is not other way. Otherwise, uh, the, both of the countries, uh, each of them support his his positions. They go to the negotiations without stepping one uh, one centimeter back. So, uh, this is not the way. From those countries you have mentioned, which one do you think can really come with a solution? To help and be accepted by both parties, also by Putin and Zelensky. Okay, the Israel has a very good relation with, the, with, the, with the Russia, also with the Ukraine. He's, uh, he's someone who speaks also with the United States well. Uh, he has a good, uh, a good uh, sign in the international uh, view, so he can. Uh, she, 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 she knows the way what he is going to propose to each of the, to each one of the, of the countries, and I found a solution. But the, the key is the United States. So if they want to stop the war, they will stop the war. How do you appreciate the international reaction? In the first, <coughs> the first reaction, we saw many, many countries who were, who had doubts on the way to, to react, to support uh, totally the, 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 the reaction against uh, against the Russian. But uh, finally, I think uh, all of them react on the same way. We have some doubts about and some questions about the Turkey. 
because you know very well that Turkey has good relations with the both of the countries. It has a lot of economical uh, uh, involves with the Russia, also with the Ukraine. You know, he sells in the middle of the world, also uh, UAVs to the to the Ukraine. Uh, they try to stay in the middle. They try to to have benefits from this uh, from this uh, uh, war. Uh, so they they are delay or they have uh, doubts on, uh, on uh, any time that they ask them to do this or that. But you have to know also that Turkey is not belonging to the European Union. They, they belong to NATO. So they obey on what the NATO says, but they don't have to obey what. The European Union says. Going back to the negotiations between Ukraine and uh, Russia, we know that some meetings were, but what we know after them is that Putin said, okay, I want uh, Ukraine demilitarized, I want the constitution of Ukraine to be changed in order to be sure that Ukraine will never be part of NATO or European community. Of course, on the other side, Zelensky refuses. Now, the question is, if the other countries cannot find a solution through dialogue, what will happen? Who on both parties can make a step back? Zelensky is, is, uh, is trying to defend his country. And, um, but I believe that uh, both the, the, the Zelensky and the Putin has uh, to, to find the way in case of the one um, to show that he, he's not, uh, he didn't lose the war. She, she was uh, succeed on, on why he started this war. The other one, Zelensky, I mean, has to show to his country that he didn't sell his country. Uh, so he didn't uh, tie his head and uh, he received and accept all the rules that, uh, that the other side put. So uh, there are solutions. There are solutions. Uh, I, I don't know exactly what they discuss, but I, I see that they, they start to be soft the, 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 on, the last, uh, on the last informations we have. So the, the, both sides have started thinking. So this is a good start. Uh, I, I cannot predict where they will stop and if they found uh, finally the way. There is way. Uh, but uh, all the international community has to push on this direction, not to, 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 to support the both sides on, on continue the war. So I'm not, uh, I said many, many times is, uh, in the TV also, and I have written also, that I'm not supporting the, the solution of sending them weapons. Because if they send, okay, they have a good, uh, a better, capability to defend themselves, but they have a lot of losses also. And uh, the, the world is not stopping by, by, by the weapons. The, the, they have to, everybody, and if anyone wants to support, and <coughs> to, 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 to support this country has to, to see how he will be effective in stopping the war. Can you give us some examples? Okay, I don't send you weapons because obviously I'm just uh, continuing the war, but how else can I help you when we saw that the economical sanctions are not making any difference in Putin's actions? Probably getting more sanctions, more effective, and uh, pushing the, both sides, not only the one, on accepting a solution. So the, the, you cannot support the one, say, by don't accept anything and pushing the other to say, OK, accept some things. They have a both, make some steps back and then uh, on, on the way of the, of the, of the governments, by, 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 by discussions, find a solution. To meet on the middle way, yes, but how this middle way can look now? This 
We can, we can, we can uh, make a lot of plans and we can make a lot of uh, theories. But this is, uh, the, you, you know, on, on, the, on the discussions between the governments and the diplomats, uh, knows the way. They, 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 they know the way to go step by step on, 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 on one solutions. So uh, at the moment, um, somebody could say that, uh, that uh, the Russia uh, uh, we like to say that, okay, forget the Ukraine, you have to accept that the Ukraine is, uh, is belonging to the Russia. Uh, support the, the, I would like to, 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 to secure that the uh, Russian heritage people who are living in the west part of, uh, of Ukraine are going to be safe and uh, will uh, remain their kind of independence. And as we said, uh, make a notice in your in your constitution that you will never join the, the NATO. This means Ukraine lost. Yes, yes, but the Ukraine has to, to think about uh, 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 the, 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 the amount of loss because he is lost anyway. She, you, you cannot change that, but the, the Ukraine himself has to think about that. Who, uh, which is the way to less to lose less? We talked about governments, about uh, high-level actions, but let's talk a little bit more, please, about the population, because we are all affected in a way or another by this war. The humanitarian crisis, over two million refugees from Ukraine. Also, we can feel in our pocket the rising prices for gas, gasoline. How do you think the international community, or do you think that the international community will find a solution to decrease somehow these effects among the rest of the population? The international community understands, and especially the, the people who are around the Europe, understand that they are going to have a very difficult time through the economical, that the, the international uh, uh, the uh, economy is going to be affected hardly by, the, by, by, by this war. So the, the, the civilians and the, and the community could, uh, could not make many, many things. They have just to survive in, in these in this, uh, difficulties. But the, the, the most important uh, is that uh, they have to support the people who are affected from, 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 from the war, because they have affected hardly. We have um, the last uh, 10 years, let's say, the refugees from, from Syria, from uh, Pakistan, from Iraq, from Libya, from, from everywhere, from, uh, from Africa. And uh, we, have to, 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 we have the obligation to, to, to support these people and try to do whatever we can do, and especially now. We have to be more, more, more effective, and we have to support them continuously on, on whatever they. This is this is what we can do. I'd like to ask you also about, and I'm sure you can give us some more details about what this means. That Ukraine is asking for no-fly area, and NATO is saying that it's impossible to implement this measure because it will be like a direct attack to Russia. Yes. What do you think? What does this mean? To, to, to establish a not flight area, you have to use the, the flight means. You have to use uh, aircrafts and defense uh, missiles also. So if somebody violates this, uh, this, uh, this rule, you have to make something. So if the, a, a Russian aircraft will pass through this area, you have to fall it down with, uh, with an aircraft or a, a, a weapon that belongs to whom? To NATO. So immediately start a war between Russia and NATO. So this is something that is very, very difficult to control. That's why I believe also that it's impossible to be done. Okay, uh, Zelensky is asking that, he has to ask that because he wants to protect his country. But this is very, very dangerous to, 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 to see a very, very high escalation in this war, to, to see a, a, a third world war. Do you think that 
it will be a third world war? I don't, I don't, I don't want to think about that. I don't, I don't think. Uh, I, I don't believe that at the moment there is uh, any possibility. But we have to be, to be, be, to be very carefully. The, all the international community, because it's easy to lose the control. Probably by an accident, by, by someone who is going to make a, a wrong decision. It's, uh, it's, when, when the situation is so tense, it's very easy to see something inflate uh, a very, very bad wall in the area. One attacking with guns and the other ones with economical sanctions. We are not already in the middle of a huge global war. So there is the Article 5 in NATO who says that if one of the countries, uh, of the NATO countries, receive an attack, so all the countries of, who are belonging to the NATO has to yeah. support them. Uh, there is the same article in the European uh, Union Constitution who says that is the Article uh, 47 Paragraph 2, who says that if somebody receives an attack, uh, the, the European Union has to support it. Uh, if you don't believe, if you don't belong, uh, and uh, the European Union or the, the NATO will uh, react in, in case of supporting you by, 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 by military means, by defense means, then he's getting himself in, in the world. So he's involving uh, immediately to, to the, uh, on, a, on a world who they don't like to do. So they support on, on every way, they support economically, they support political, they support on a humanitarian way. But uh, to be somebody in, uh, in, the wo in, uh, in a war for someone else, I think is a little bit difficult. I have here in Greece, some years ago, I declare that uh, when the war is coming, we are going to be alone. Mm -hmm. And you never start a, a war without being able to do it yourself. So I believe also that uh, someone who, who was thinking or who was, who was believing that if the war is coming, the others will support him, he did a big mistake. So. Um, but we have to, f to, to forget that and see how the situation is uh, existing at the moment and what we can do uh, now without uh, uh, risking to, to, to start a world war. I heard Putin saying that from his point of view what uh, the rest of the countries are doing for Ukraine, uh, so many kinds of help, it's like a war declaration. Can we expect Putin to react as if he was the one attacked now and maybe attack a NATO country? But saying that is just a reaction of the economical sanctions, of the help that that country gave to Ukraine. Yeah, Putin, I, I, use I, this I, I, rhetoric. I I guess the, he means that if some, party, some if any country support the Ukraine on military way, then he is going to to make uh, <coughs> to react, and he's uh, counting this country as uh, as attacking him. Sending weapons. Sending weapons is something like that. Sending weapons is uh, is, is involving in the war. So we, we have to be very careful on that. Do you think that the threats with nuclear bombs are real? And nobody wants to believe that it's real. But it's uh, something that he said. And it's something that he said and someone who, who has the capability to do that. So you cannot say, no, there is no possibility. You can say that there is not many possibilities, but there is existing a possibility to be happen. That's why I'm worried, and we have to worry about the situation and the escalation of the war. Talking about the countries that are helping Ukraine, do you think that we are Romanians? So, 
the war is so close, or it's on our borders actually. Do you think that the next target of Putin could be Romania, taking in consideration the reactions of Romania government and also the reactions of Romanians? I cannot say that. No, no, I, I, I cannot say that. I cannot say that the next uh, country is going to be Romania or Lithuania or whatever. It is it's something that is uh, uh, related to the relationships that this country has with the Russia. With the Romania, uh, the, the, the situation is completely different because Romania is, is a NATO country. And if somebody attacks Romania, immediately has, uh, has uh, uh, touching the sensitive point of, of, of the Article 5 of NATO. So the NATO has to, to react. Uh, so, unfortunately, uh, or obviously, the, 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 the Russia will think about that. So I don't think he's going to attack to a NATO country so easily. Going back, because I feel that we didn't sp uh, speak enough about the nuclear bomb threats. Do you have any message for the population, let's say, because we hear news from our country. Already a lot of our friends are making a luggage and they say that they want to move because if some nuclear bomb will be lanced, Romania is very close and maybe if you are further, things will be different. What do you think? It's just the panic of the moment and we are acting without thinking? As I said before, I don't like to think about that. It's something because if a nuclear war starts, nobody is close and nobody is further. All, all of us are going to be affected. So don't think about that. Just uh, make a wish to never happen. Can you talk a little bit, please, about the relationship between Greece and Turkey? We saw that uh, on 3rd, I think, of March, there will be a big meeting between Mr. Mitsotakis and Erdogan. What are your expectations? We have some we have some problems with the Turkish, and um, the, the problems are getting uh, more difficult because the Turkish are creating uh, every time something new. So every year, every day, we have some new declarations from the Turkish. <coughs> so it's difficult to 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 stop them uh, thinking and declaring uh, new things. Uh, the logic says that uh, okay, the, the problems are solving by by discussions, by uh, goodwill of uh, both sides. Uh, there are here we have some uh, some uh, we have the international law, of course, and we have conventions also, who are uh, the ones who makes uh, puts our borders. The, the way of uh, the, the site and uh, whom belongs to whom in this in this area, and we have some doubts from the Turkish side about about uh, that. So our, our main uh, our main problems at the moment, our main difficulties uh, differences, is the 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 sea zones uh, and. Uh, and in, in this one, she's based all, all the rest that the, the Turkish uh, try to, 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 to declare. Uh, I believe that we have to, to continue uh, talking with the Turkish. I believe that we have to, to find solutions, but uh, uh, they have also to understand that there are things we don't discuss. You cannot discuss about the conventions, we cannot discuss about the international law. It's something that is accepted. If you accept all these bases, then they can discuss further on to find solutions and solve the problems that are related with this. Otherwise, there, there is not base for discussion. So it's good that the Prime Minister is visiting now the, the, the Turkey, is going to discuss with the with the prime minister, with the minister, with the president of Turkey, uh, but uh, there is uh, a lot of way to to, to
to find solutions and to solve the problems we have so far. Do you think that Erdogan will use the invasion of Ukraine like a precedent, let's say, to think more about this possibility here? And you tell me if I'm wrong, we have seen in the last month, let's say, a very similar rhetoric, way of speaking to Erdogan and Putin. There are some similarities in their character and probably they think the same. And uh, Erdogan has declared many, many times uh, uh, things in the, same, in the same direction about the, the, the blue country, about the, 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 the countries of their heart, about, about a lot of things. So they believe that, uh, that they are not uh, uh, they are not well in, in, uh, in after the Second World War about, uh, and after the conversion of Lausanne. Uh, so they, they try to change it, this. But look, the difference here is that Greece, first of all, belongs to the NATO, then to, to the European Union. And third, the Greece is a strong country on the arming forces. So he has to think many, many times if she wants to do something like the Putin did. So I don't, at the moment, I don't believe that, he's, uh, that he has any kind of possibility to succeed in this kind of, uh, of action. So maybe he's waiting. Maybe he's trying to, to create the situation and do what he wants to do. But he never changed his mind. Turkey has his own view about the, the, the differences and about how Greece is existing and how, how they are in the area. They believe that they are not, uh, that they are strangling from, 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 from the Greek islands. They are very close to them. So they are not going to accept that. But this is a situation. This is the, this is the Aegean. The Aegean belongs to the Greek. Historically and uh, for so many years. Thank you so much. It was an honor to speak with you. We appreciate it a lot. You're welcome. And I hope you have a good uh, to succeed on doing the trip you plan and also to be um, to reach your your goals, goals for, yes. for, for this trip. And also let's wish all together about uh, finishing this this war as soon as possible because nobody wants and nobody feels good with this world. Thank you very much. Guys, if you enjoy this, the best way to thank us is by subscribing to our channel and hitting the like button. For early updates and funny things, you also find the world on Wave on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. We would be really grateful if you may consider to support us on Patreon. With your help, you will experience new and interesting things around the world. You have the power to make it happen. And don't forget, follow your dream.